All right, I'm doing a printer migration from a 2008 server to a 2016 server. I have no idea if the drivers on some of these printers are even correct anymore because the printers get swapped out by the printer company over time, and sometimes we don't update the drivers. So I don't know if all these printers will successfully migrate. So I right-clicked and chose Migrate Printers. I'm going to export printer queues and printer drivers to a file. All right, sorry if that was a little fast there, but uh, <clears throat> we're going to migrate these printers into a file. I got to block some of this just for security reasons. And so it's a list of all the printers, whatnot. All that's going to be exported into the printer migration file. All right, we're going to create a folder here. We're going to call it Migrated Printers just so that the file goes there because I have no idea what it's going to create. I think it's just going to be one file with everything all bunched into it. So we'll just call it Migrated Printers. And there it goes. Exporting all the printers into a file. Now I've sped this footage up a little bit, so... It's going to take a lot longer for you if you have, especially depending on how many printers you have. So now that it's all exported, there's the folder, there's the file. It's 438 megs. That's a pretty big file. It's a lot of drivers. But that print, that server's been online for about eight years. So, all right, export. Now we're going to import this time. We're importing the migrated printers file. So I just got to navigate to it. There it is. Open it, next. And now it's gonna load all the contents of that file that we took from the old print server. And I'm gonna try putting it into the new server. But our luck, it's probably not gonna take all the printers. All right, let's see. Here goes nothing. Restoring the print drivers. I sped this up a little bit too. And you're going to see a uh, epic fail of about half the printers when this completes. And that means I had to manually do the rest. And it was not fun. All these errors in the event viewer. So like when you finish it, open up the event viewer to see all the errors. So 16 printers didn't migrate. At least 16. I don't know. It might be more. It looks like 16 from here. So that means I got to manually add 16 printers. It took some, so that saved me some time. So it just, it's just like that sometimes. So this isn't the greatest printer migration video. It's not the most successful, but at least it's realistic. Thanks for watching Technuba.